Hello, my name is Laura Berlage from Arendale Tapestry Studio. Welcome to this tutorial where we will begin by building the base and the core for the head of our bird, whether or not you're making the bluebird or another type of bird. And for that, I start with a foam ball. And part of the reason I do that is because we could spend about an hour making a felt ball of this same size. And I like to get to working on the interesting parts faster. So what I'm going to do, this is a nice bird core color. You may be starting with a different color, that's okay. And I'm going to just gently skin the ball, wrapping it, until I've covered up the original color of the ball. Just enough to cover it. Then, I'm going to take my felting needle and randomizing where I poke so it stays round. Don't go in neat little cornrows down the side. Just keep it random. Moving over the space, I'm going to work that wool down into the foam so that I have a good foundation to build my bird from. I got the idea of starting with a foam core because when you're felting just on your foam work surface pad, the wool will knit into the foam and you have to tear it off every now and then or it gets really hard to pull it free. And I thought, whoa, what if you actually use that to your advantage with a foam core? And we don't have to work this to the point where it gets so hard, like it's the finished piece, but enough so that it's really knit in there well, so that as we build items off of it, it's not going to pull off. It's going to act as one physical unit. moving my shape, paying attention to where my hand is, so I'm not going to poke myself, and I'm not going to hold it and poke it this way, I'm going to work on the foam surface. And you don't have to poke this fast if that doesn't feel comfortable. Poke at whatever speed feels good to you. I'm tipping it around looking for areas like here. This is still pretty fluffy. Poke that in. Making sure I'm still pretty round and not lopsided. Alright, that's a pretty good start for my body base. And then I'm going to start the core for my head. And there's a reason that 
I don't put a foam core in the head, and that has to do with when we're working where the eyes go. We'll deal with that a little later. So I'm going to start with a slip knot, and then wrap that into a ball. And I'm going to place that onto my body, and I'm going to decide where do I want that head. This looks a, just a little bit flatter. That looks like some nice breast shape. I'm going to put the head about right there. Bend up a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is establish the edge of my shape because we have good definition between the head and the shoulders of the bird. So I'm going and I want to make sure that the head is not going to pull off. I want to get really good attachment for my head. All the way around. And then I'm going to needle it into a round shape. Moving around. And we'll add a lot more layers onto the head that will give it more of the shape, the bird shape that we want. This is giving us a good core to get started with that is well attached to the body. You can see it's not going to pull off. Keep that edge defined. If I needled the head all in one direction, I'd get a very flat shape. So just like when I was needling the ball as a whole, keep moving around so that it stays a roundish shape. That should feel, when you're done, about the same density as your body. So it doesn't have to be too hard, but you don't want a great big poofy wad on the top of your bird. So we're going to start with that. And that's the basic foundation, the interior of our bird. Happy felting!